Good morning. Ah, yes. I've, I'm losing track of time. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. It is the 1st of April. Is that right? Yes, it is. Is that April Fool's Day? <laughs> I should have done something funny. Uh, never mind, I didn't. I didn't even know what day it was. Right. Uh... I tell you what we are going to do today, we're going to start with a tune, we're going to say good morning to a few people, say good morning Joe, uh, who's had a skinhead, morning Joe with your skinhead, and you gave a bit of a shout out to David Bowie, uh, talked about uh, Ziggy Stardust, what an incredible album, and I really recommend it to you Hunky Dory, which is also an incredible album, a bit harder to get to know, but let's let's be a bit cheesy this morning. Let's start off with one of my favourite tracks of all time and a big shout out to the NHS, okay? You cannot talk about David Bowie without talking about this song here. Here we go. And you know what it's going to be. Oh yeah. What a great start to the day. Already. EMI have got my website shut down. That's it. Oh no, I'm going to get in trouble for this. What a brilliant song. Now, I guess at times like this we've all got to kind of look for the hero inside of all of us. <laughs> so cheesy. But it's true, boys and girls, but it's true. Let's just get to that chorus, shall we? Brilliant song. So today, boys and girls, is a day you've got to be somebody's hero. Do the pots for your mum and dad. Take the rubbish out. Tidy your bedrooms. Do some work. <laughs> Do some English. Right, second shout out goes to Olivia. Um, I've, sent the, I've sent you this on email because it has to be seen up close to really appreciate the genius behind this. So, um, well, I had a, a Design Your Robot competition. Uh, didn't I, Andrew the Tom 2000? Yes, you did. Uh, and we've got a winner, okay? This is far out. <laughs> this is a robot designed by Olivia on the theme of, of coronavirus. Are you ready for this? It's amazing, look. <laughs> Check that out. Right, Mrs. Olivia, I know what you were doing as soon as this thing. You were straight into the shops when you're buying up all the toilet roll. And look how much hand sanitizer you've got. I know what you were doing, okay? Nudging old nanans out of the way with your elbows. Give me that toilet roll. That's what you were saying to them. What are those things there? They're sort of feelers or it's antennae. That's the proper word, isn't it? I love having the proper words for things. So, well done, Olivia. Uh, because we're self-isolating, I can't get you the uh, enormous bar of chocolate, which was a prize. So, I'm going to have to eat it myself. Sorry about that. Uh, but, by Lord, I will enjoy it, by golly. Um, so, what else have we got today? Well, you've all got plenty of work to do. But, I just keep thinking about, you know, how do I deal with... with being restricted in such a way and, and being bored, right? I just go ferreting around the house and, and making a general nuisance of myself, uh, getting things out and not putting them back. So, for example, yesterday I found this incredibly old family photo, uh, and that's my great 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 times a million granddad or whatever, okay? And one of you, it was Che, sent me some wonderful photos. So, Che's doing a bit of um looking into his family uh, history, which is really interesting. You know, there's there's lots of biographical stuff you can get out of that. Um, don't forget Boy by Roald Dahl. Thank you very much. That's my, my wife. Morning. morning, Eddie. Grandkid. Morning. Say morning, Eddie. He's gone. Oh, does he want to be on telly? Eddie, don't be on TV. No, he don't want to be on telly. Okay. Um, so, oh, there's a postwoman. Um, so I go photoing around the house making a general nuisance of myself 
So I went upstairs today to, to ferret uh, and I found on the bookcase some absolutely marvellous old books which again mums and dads will remember this but uh, you may not. Karen! Karen! Yeah. Parcel! Just pop... Uh, oh God! You must have thought I'd gone mad then, completely. I was sign language. I was signing to the post person. Uh, they've got a mask on and everything, and it's a parcel for me. Hey, uh, I might get to open it live. Anyway, back to the program. Back to the show. So I went ferreting, uh, and I found a bookcase with uh, there's books all over my house. Some really fantastic books, and. Mums and dads will remember reading these, and I read them as well. They're just the most amazing books. They're very, very old-fashioned now, so I probably wouldn't read them anymore. They might not even be very appropriate. So look what I found. Bearing in mind uh, the, the good old Derbyshire police are stopping people from going out in their caravans and things like that. Fair play. Um, in fact, it's not just Derbyshire doing that. Uh, so I found this book here. It's by Enie Blyton. And I rather like the front cover. So here's today's task, children. It's a caption competition. All right. Here's a cap caption competition. Um, if you don't know what a caption competition is, ask mum and dad. Okay. So here's the picture. I want to know what these people are saying to each other. <laughs> and it's got to kind of have like modern relevance. Yeah. So I want you to imagine that this was taken yesterday. Some beauty spot. And I want to know what the Derbyshire police overheard when they were listening into their, their conversation. Um, please, please enter this competition because I can't, the staggering craziness of that picture absolutely does my knowing. Look at it, it's fantastic. Now, uh, I used to love these books and I can't believe that I used to read them. So, uh, shall I read you the blurb on the back? This probably will help you in your caption uh, competition. Um, here it is. Uh, the famous five, Julian, Dick, George, Anne and Timothy the dog. Their fifth adventure, exciting and sinister. A caravan holiday. Nobby the circus boy and Pongo the chimp. War with Lou and Tiger Dan. Poisoned meat. The caravan moves Tunnel to gold plate. Oh, even Anne was sorry when it was all over. I can't wait to read this book now. I, I just can't wait. Let's have a look what it says. Uh, ooh. Blimey. The famous five are Julian, Ju Dick, George, Georgina by writes Anne and Timothy the dog. Just when the five were wondering what to do for their summer holiday, a circus with all its gay caravans and performing animals came along the road. That put some images in my mind. This gave them the thrilling idea of going off in a caravan themselves. And thrilling they found it. For when at last they caught up with the circus, it was plain that some of the characters had more sinister ways of passing their time than clowning in the big top. Oh, good God, what, what were they up to? Without Timothy and Pongo the chimpanzee, the criminals would never have got their desserts. And even Anne, who had wanted an ordinary holiday, not too exciting, was sorry when their adventure was all over. I mean, the thing about the famous five, they're always going on holiday, and they always had these mental adventures. It's like they never just went on holiday and went to the beach and had a, some ice cream, you know. Nothing like that, no. They always got involved in a smuggling escapade and one of them would get kidnapped and was just about to be hacked into chunks before Timmy the dog would bite the smuggler's head off or something. They, they were crazy. So I tell you what, if you find one in your house, if mum and dad have actually got one, please give it a read. Tell me what you think, I'm, I'm really interested. Uh, oh, ink blot mug. Ink blot mug. You can tell this, this getting it to me a little bit, this craziness. Okay, so there's something to do. Um, I'm going to go off and read all your emails and reply to them. Keep up the work. Keep sending me stuff to work. Uh, Mark, thank you, Peace. Thank you, Beth. Um, and that's it for this morning because I've got to get this on before 10 o'clock, otherwise you're going to be cross with me. Okay, 
So I will speak to you later. Bye, 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 bye.